This video is going to focus on the visualization of feature-based molecular networking results and of the results of ion identity networking. And it's very important that we uh, submit the data. We can do this from MZMine directly to GMPS, that we do this before um, we run ion identity networking, or that we just don't uh, submit the additional edges. So um, we did this and we have all the jobs here. If we log into GMPS, we can just go on jobs. And then we see all the jobs that we ran lately with uh, feature-based molecular networking. And then we can just click on the done button and we can see all the results that we can view in the uh, GMPS web browser or also uh, the data that we can download. And for this workflow, we need to download the um, Cytoscape data. So we um, click on this link and then we get a zip file. And if we unzip, in the first folder, there's going to be a GraphML file. And the GraphML file holds all the information of library entry hits and also of the um, edges that were created with GMPS MSMS similarity. So if we uh, want to import the data, so we want to import the results into MZMine, uh, we can just click on any of the lists and then identification, import GMPS results. And here we can just uh, go into the folder uh, again without iron identity edges and then just uh, click on the GraphML file with, a, uh, with the results and OK. And now it's going to import all the edges and the library entry hits. So if we open this and we sort by identity, we can see that we have uh, multiple hits to ozodiol or uh, taurocholic acid and some other uh, molecules here. And these are all the uh, library hits that we got from this feature table. And it's very important that we have the same numbering because uh, the import is just based on the ID of the row. And now if we want to uh, want to visualize this, so we just want to visualize the, the GMPS results, uh, we can go on networks, MS annotation networks, and then uh, a new graph opens up. And in this graph, um, we can see nodes. So the nodes are just features. So they have a chromatographic shape and they were detected while uh, in, the, in the feature detection step. And so we have the master chart ratio, we have the uh, ID of the feature, and then we have um, the green lines, the, so the edges, and the edges are GMPS spectral similarity edges. So uh, cosine similarity edges. And so this is just the basic uh, GMPS network. We can also see the GMPS matches here if we zoom in just a little bit and we can get rid of the uh, node labels and then uh, GMPS matches. And we can see that we have taurocholic acid and so on and all of the uh, cholic acid derivatives are just in one cluster here and maybe some outside, um, but basically in this cluster. And, but we did ion identity networking. And so now uh, we want to also visualize uh, ion identity networking with feature-based molecular networking. And for this, we do it again. We go on import GMPS results take the same GraphML file and import the results and then go on visualize annotation networks. And now the graph looks very different. So um, the graph looks very different because we have two types of nodes now. Uh, we still have the black nodes. Uh, the black nodes are um, feature nodes but we also have uh, cyan nodes. And so I just going to, I'm just going to zoom in. And the cyan nodes just tell us uh, the, the neutral mass and that they are M. So they are neutral molecules with a, a neutral mass. And then we see the uh, network ID 
and if we click on collapse ions we can decollapse the networks and now we see that uh, actually behind one of the cyan dots there's always a whole network and so this network is um, consists of m plus h m plus sodium 2 m plus sodium a multimer and we have the network id down here and so all the black nodes here are features and the cyan nodes are neutral molecules and the neutral molecule mass is basically the identifier and so we created this type of network because um, it reduces redundancy because all these ions are just redundant they point to the same neutral molecule and so um, we decided to uh, just to just remove all of those if we collapse the ions and then only show the cyan cyan dots so uh, we can get rid of the labels just uh, for clarity and now we can see uh, smaller networks and in these smaller networks we can see different edge types so again we can collapse the network and now we see that we have only four neutral molecules whereas if we uh, don't collapse we have multiple uh, features here so multiple ions but only four neutral molecules and we can again show the labels and we can see that uh, they all make sense so it's uh, m plus h m plus ammonium sodium potassium and very similar here very similar on the other sides and this also uh, shows us that we might be correct with our assumption because we have potassium ions here and uh, sodium and ammonium uh, nothing weird and so the two edge types are actually uh, the ms2 similarity edge we can see that we have one edge here and one edge here so if we turn off the iron edges because the iron edges are just the iron identity network edges if we turn these off uh, we can see the uh, the ms2 similarity edges more clearly and so the similarity edges are from m plus ammonium to m plus ammonium to m plus ammonium and m plus ammonium so all the different networks that we found with ion identity networking based on ms1 information so the feature shape uh, is correlated the retention time is very similar and uh, we have a specific uh, delta mass to charge ratio so all of this holds true for uh, these features and then we have um, m plus ammonium being the i think being the most abundant feature maybe and then we have the ms2 spectra similarity and if we collapse this the uh, similarity edges here from this network to this network are just going to be connected from this neutral molecule to this neutral molecule and so we can zoom out and we can hide the labels here and just show the GPS matches and now we can go to the bigger cluster and we can see that it's actually not very big so um, we have plenty of neutral molecules here we have uh, ozodiol twice I mean uh, they are different isomers so maybe it's uh, one of the isomers we have cholic acid deoxycholic acid which is one of the isomers of ozodiol and then we have lethocholic acid and this and everything here makes makes uh, total sense so uh, we only have one uh, one feature in here which was not grouped in one of those networks and if we decollapse we can actually see that um, there are lots of ions here so the network is uh, quite busy if we don't collapse the ion identity networks but with the uh, collapsing option it is much easier to uh, just spot the differences spot the neutral molecules and this is different to uh, the approach in cytoscape so you can also uh, just run gmps uh, submit with ion identity networking and then download the results and directly go to um, cytoscape 
Uh, but there, you don't have the option to collapse uh, the networks directly. And also to jump from uh, the collapsed version to the non-collapsed version. And so we can uh, zoom in. Uh, for example, um, cholic acid is quite interesting. Uh, because in cholic acid, we can see we have uh, one match and two and uh, three matches. And then the matches are just um, also shown for the neutral molecule. And we can collapse the network and we can see that all the different ions are just removed. And the similarity edges that we can see here, so um, here, the similarity edges, they are just reflected onto the neutral molecule. And this is why the network is very close together and we have all the different different ions uh, being together. And up here, uh, we can see uh, taurocholic acid, glutocholic acid, and uh, taurodeoxycholic acid. So up here, uh, the similarity is much higher. So the uh, similarity based on MS2 and GMPS is much denser uh, in these different uh, molecules than the similarity to the non-towering uh, conjugated bile acid. And this is basically uh, the way to visualize it in MZMine. But then we can also um, import the data to MZMine and then go to, uh, go to Cytoscape. And so for this version, we have imported the, data, uh, the results here identification, import GMPS results uh, to this feature list. And then we go on export, export networking GraphML. And we just choose any location here, like this, and then hit uh, export. And this export function is going to create two files. So I can show you in here. It is creating two files because one is the collapsed version and one is the non-collapsed version. And this is different to the uh, direct download function of GMPS. So uh, with the collapsed version, it's way easier in uh, Cytoscape to visualize the results. And so if we go to Cytoscape, we can just go on File, Import, and then um, here, where is it? Network from file. And as you can see, somewhere in here is uh, GraphML. And so we, so we can just go into the folder and import um, the GraphML from directly from GMPS, or we can import the GraphML that we just created with MZMine. And this is actually one of the files. So this is the non-collapsed version. And this is the collapsed version. So again, we can see uh, the network is quite busy. So we have uh, the round nodes are uh, features. And then we have the rectangular ones, uh, which are the neutral molecules. And then if we collapse it, uh, most of the features are just the uh, rectangular ones. And then we have some singular features that were not in any of the ion identity networks. So in Cytoscape, you can zoom in. And the visualization features in, in Cytoscape are quite nice. So, uh, I mean, it's a bit too dense here. But for example, if we go down, we can see For example, here, we can see that we have um, different features here. So feature nodes, and then we have neutral molecules. And we have uh, different types of edges. So we have one edge type between uh, the neutral nodes. And this edge is uh, the GMPS similarity edge. This edge is also the GMPS similarity edge, but between the um, the features. And then we have the uh, ion identity network edges. And in the collapsed version, we won't see those because all those edges are just collapsed. 
and the features are just um, collapsed onto the neutral molecule. So this was basically the visualization in MZ Mine and the visualization in um, Cytoscape. I mean, as always, you can just go on the style in Cytoscape uh, for nodes and edges. Um, especially here, it's very easy to, um, for example, for the edges, uh, the type of edge is here, line type, and we just went for the color uh, type. So we have the edge type, and the edge type is just going to re be reflected onto um, the iron identity edges as dots and full edges for the GMPS similarity. And you can just play around and just change all of the visualization. Uh, for example, here, this is M plus ammonium, M plus sodium, and M plus H. So uh, the nodes and border paint. And then we have the iron type. And we can see that we have a lot of different iron types, and I didn't want to go through all of those. But the main iron types are down here, and I just colored uh, these iron types in specific border colors. And you can just go for anything here. And Cytoscape is very rich in functions. So yeah, first uh, Cytoscape, and then also the uh, networks in MZMine.